Maize is core to food security, rural development and poverty reduction in eastern and southern Africa. Lack of appropriate grain storage technologies results in significant losses due to post-harvest pests. Farmers in developing countries typically lose between 20 and 30 percent of their crop due to poor grain storage facilities. The International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, CIMID, through the generous funding from the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, has implemented the Effective Grain Storage Project, which promotes the use of metal silos for grain storage to reduce post-harvest losses. These are locally produced cylinders manufactured out of galvanized flat iron sheets in which grain is stored and protected from storage pests. They are airtight and mechanically keep grain safe from weevils and the larger grain borer. The introduction of the metal silo technology into the eastern and southern African region followed its very successful development and implementation in Central America as a post-harvest storage solution. In the eastern province of Kenya, Beere district, we meet Esther Ndukumutua, a businesswoman and a farmer. She owns a small restaurant and runs a grain buying and selling business. Esther has over the years lost a large amount of her harvest to the larger grain borer, locally known as Osama. <laughs> kwa sababu mdundu atali anaitwa Osama. Tukienda tukinunua ndawa si hili kwa imewekwa unga na inaandikwa rebo ni ya kitereki ama ni nini? Haikukua inaoa wa ndundu. Ukienda ku, kuchukua ngunia mahali ulikuwa unapaki kiwa ni kwa store yako. Unainua ngunia mpaka inapasuka. Hiyo Osama ilikuwa inakula mpaka mitungi baka miti watu wote wakipata hiyo meto silo upande wetu watapaitika sana kwa sababu mashamba inakuanga ni kubwa tunalima sana ni asandi kwa hao kwa hayo waliona watu watufundishe kuhusu hiyo meto silo Esther is grateful to the Catholic Diocese of Embu for introducing the meto silo technology training and helping her buy her own meto silos Semi through partners such as the Diocese of Embu conducts training workshops for farmers and metal artisans. She now trains others in her community on the benefits of using the metal silo storage technology. The larger grain borer and the maize weevil are the two most damaging pests of stored maize in Africa. Infestation starts in the field when the crop reaches maturity and continues after harvest while the grain is in storage. Both species damage grain by making holes and laying their eggs inside the grain. Losses of up to 20% are reported three months after storage and this goes up to more than 50% for the larger grain borer if the grain is stored for more than six months. The Effective Grain Storage Project has supported artisan workshops in Homer Bay and Embu, with a total of 37 artisans trained in Kenya so far. One of these is Benjamin Juengari, a metal artisan based in Embu, eastern province of Kenya. Along with other artisans, he attended a training workshop organized by the Diocese of Embu on metal silo construction. Benjamin has since then attended numerous training workshops conducted by Semit and now is a trainer of metal artisans. He can now fabricate silos of various sizes, some that can hold up to 20 90 kilogram bags of grain. <laughs> Especially, 
mashimo kupanda na kushuka kwa barabara unapata wakati mwingine si kazi rahisi Before handing over the metal silo to his customers, Benjamin trains them on how to care for the silos and the proper steps to follow when using the silo. Na tena hiki chombo ambacho ni metal silo tukihifadhi tunaweza kukitumia mara nyingi si mara moja. The silo must be placed on a wooden pallet on a flat even surface in an area that is sheltered from direct sunlight and rain. The steps to load in the silo are easy to follow. First secure the outlet by fitting the lead properly and sealing it with a rubber strip. Grain must be properly dried before storing it in the metal silo. The moisture content test is simple to administer and is quite effective in the determination of the moisture content in the grain. The basic steps are drying the grain, putting the grain in a dry bottle with a handful of salt, shaking the bottle for a few minutes and allowing to settle. If the salt sticks to the walls of the bottle, then the grain needs to be dried again. If the salt does not stick to the walls of the bottle, then the grain is ready for storage in the metal silo. Then using a small container, such as a traditional calabash scoop, load the grain into the silo until almost full. Light a candle and place inside the silo. This will go off when the oxygen inside the silo is depleted. Place the top cover and secure with a rubber strip to make the seal airtight. Si choki kuongea na watu kwa sababu nimejua kuongea ni kujuana na ni kujua kazi na nitapenda sana na nitafurahia kuhudumia yoyote atakaye kuja kwangu akihitaji huduma yoyote This technology has two components the metal silo and also dealing with the demand with the farmers We need people to fabricate the metal silos hence the training of artisans who can make the metal silos but these artisans can only make metal silos if there is demand. Presently the cost of a metal silo is anywhere between 50 to 100 US dollars depending on the size and where the materials is sourced. So we we training artisans in in areas where we we are targeting the project. And so we trying to target areas where farmers have a surplus. They must have grains to store. So we looking at areas which farmers are producing more than they need and the, the idea is farmers can be able to harvest their grain store the grain be more food secure because at harvest time the prices are so low we expect if farmers store their grain a bit they can be able to sell when the prices have increased so in Kenya we are focusing in two areas Homa Bay Kisi area and Embumbera area the other country we are trying to in southern africa is Malawi as you know Malawi grows a lot of maize it has a lot of food surplus but indeed they are also suffering a lot of post harvest losses we trying to see if this technology is able to work in these areas then we can be able to make a program on how to expand this technology in areas whereby we know farmers are having having surpluses the focus of the project is to ensure that farmers use only well fabricated high quality metal silos and that is why training artisans who will make and sell these silos is critical to the success of the project Semit has contracted a trainer from Central America who has many years of experience in training artisans in fabricating metal silos. We realize these institutions in 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 Homa Bay area where the schools are buying metal silos for grain storage to be able to reduce the losses. You will find uh, you went to an institution and you find 40 big silos where the schools are using to store grain because the biggest challenge of grain storage in this area are two pests maize weevils and larger grain borer and the metal silo is able once you store clean grain and you are able to treat your grain you can be able to store under airtight conditions and within 30 days 
any weevils or any insects which are within the grain are killed and you can be able to protect your grain using the metal silos from reinfestation of weevils or larger, larger grain borer. We have also a student in this program pursuing his PhD to, to make sure at least within, within the two years he's able to collect data to be able to build or strengthen the existing capacity. We want to engage more partners who indeed are going to help in moving this technology and especially linking with the consumers of this technology. And we believe after two years we shall be able to have a wider program which is more targeted, not just in Kenya and Malawi, but in countries like Ethiopia, like Tanzania, like Mozambique. But we shall be having information to know if you go to Ethiopia, which areas do you concentrate on? And we are expanding our, our, our partnership with various uh, NGOs within the region, because these are the people who are involved in food security issues, the ministries of agriculture, people, the policy makers, to make sure indeed this technology is able to be incorporated within the National Extension Program and all the NGOs dealing with food security issues, they can be able to buy in into this technology and to be able to promote it. That is the only way you shall be able to achieve the regional food security. The Effective Grain Storage Project, Phase 1, began its two-year pilot phase in 2008, ending in June 2010. This phase covered Kenya and Malawi, while the next phase is projected to expand its scope to Swaziland, Zambia and Zimbabwe. Overall, the current project has so far seen the construction of over 300 silos across Kenya and Malawi. The project identified well-established partners, World Vision International in Malawi and the Catholic Diocese of Embu and the Diocese of Homer Bay in Kenya. These host training workshops for farmers and artisans and promote the use of metal silo storage technology. CIMIT, through the generous funding of the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, aims to improve food security in sub-Saharan Africa through on-farm storage technologies. <laughs>